Firstly, I'm so sorry that I can't be with you today at Gathering Voices, but I'm really glad that Gareth Streeter is. I believe that telling a person, any person, whether young or old, that it's sinful to be gay is a crime. I believe that making any other person feel that because of their sexuality or their gender identity, they somehow reflect less fully the image of God is a crime. A crime both against them and against God. And I believe that through such irresponsible action, the church's witness to the God of love is broken and lives are left in tatters. It's six years since I wrote A Matter of Integrity, making my commitment to include, to embrace and to celebrate LGBT people, their sexuality and their gender identity and their relationships in the life of the church far more public. And the years since have been an educational journey for me because I've lived with an almost permanent state of semi-anxiety when I'm around Christians. I've lost friends. I've seen people turn their backs on me, quite literally. I've been on the receiving end of countless judgmental letters. I've lost funding for Oasis work. I've been uninvited to so many gatherings that I used to be part of. The list goes on and on. It's a long one. But more than that, I've learned to live with a constant tension. Every time I meet a Christian, someone I don't know, I almost hold my breath. Are they going to be someone who decides to judge me, denounce me, reject me for the stance I take, or will they accept me? I don't say any of this in order to make you feel sorry for me at all. In truth, it's been good for me because through it, in my own small way, it's allowed me just a tiny window into a little bit of what it's like for countless numbers of LGB and T people who've been and still are pushed out, despised, rejected and excluded for who they are. So together our task is to work out how to end the toxic environment where week after week the mental health and the hope of yet more young people is sacrificed because of the unwillingness of those in authority and leadership in the church both nationally and locally to stand up and be counted for what they know is happening. Recently I sat with an influential gay man who described the church in the UK as the poisoned well at the heart of our society. His phrase has haunted me ever since. When Gareth speaks to you, he describes in more detail the damage that the latest research shows us the church's negative attitude has had and is still having on the whole of our society. Its unhealthy impact on those far beyond our doors and our pews. And that's why Oasis has developed the Open Church Charter, which Gareth will also speak of, as just one of the ways in which we feel that we can play our small part in helping to make a difference on this really important issue. So once again, I'm really sorry, really sorry that I can't be with you today, but my prayer is that today you will be inspired and you will recognise again that through your work, the gracious tide of inclusion is sweeping in. It's unstoppable. And the sandcastle of resistance is being overwhelmed.